What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So I guess you can tell from the caption and title of this video and the thumbnail what this video is going to be about. Yes, it is my current morning routine. If you're new to this video guys, don't forget to please subscribe to the channel and if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you. So morning routine and a stress-free day. So morning routine is so key to having a good day, guys. You've probably heard it from millions of people before. You win the morning and you win the day, and it's exactly how I feel whenever I start the day off to an absolute winner. There's always times we're gonna have those bad mornings and bad days, and that's totally normal, but it's how you attack the morning and it's how you're gonna finish off the rest of the day as well, and how you're gonna take the day, all the good things you've done in the morning, and then carry those through you through the rest of the day. How I start my morning is, well, I get woken up in the right way. Instead of being alarmed first thing and sending off a big jutter to my brain and uh, I start the day off with stress and cortisol levels rising, I gradually wake myself up. I've got one of those sunrise alarm clocks, as you can see here. And basically what it does, it, it gradually wakes you up from, say for me, it's like 5.30ish and it'll start to slowly get lighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. And you can kind of sense it waking you up because your eyes obviously get a bit brighter and it wakes you up naturally instead of being woken up by an alarm and it just, you wake up so much fresher and just feeling like you're naturally awake straight away. So I really recommend you guys looking into this. Um, you don't need to set an alarm with the phone, it automatically wakes you up. And at the end, if you do oversleep, then it will wake you up with um, on the time you originally set your alarm with bird sounds. And it's one of the best things I've ever got and I can recommend waking up to one of these. Once awake, I then give myself five seconds to get out of bed. The reason why I do this is because I read a book by Mel, Mel Robbins and she uses the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 countdown technique to get you straight out of bed. The brain is programmed to do the easy things in life. So we always expect to snooze the button or do things that are safe because the brain wants us to do the safe things. So going back to bed is easy for us and it's a safe thing to do. Whereas if you jump straight out of bed, it is signaling and it's doing something different to the brain, you are just gonna wake up straight away. So it's programming the brain to do something different and I really recommend you guys doing that. So I count down from five to zero and as soon as I hit that zero, I'm out of bed. And it's been a really good technique for me to um, get up straight away and start moving the day. I leave my room and first things first, I need to obviously do my man manly business, which anyone always most probably has to do in the morning. And then I make my bed. The reason why I make my bed is because no matter how bad of the day is, at least I come home to a bed well made. The worst thing you could do is walk in after a really bad day and you see a bed just not presented in a way you would like to have it presented. So I always believe that's one thing you should do because at the end of the day, if you're climbing into a bed which is fresh and nicely made, then it's gonna make you feel a little bit happier no matter how bad the day's gone. So give that one a go guys. Never leave your house without making your, your bed. Once I've made my bed, I do one of the most important things to me personally um, that I've implemented as a core habit in the last like six to nine months and that is stretching. I actually set my phone for five minutes and 10 seconds and I begin to do a routine stretch which I've made actually myself and it has absolutely changed the way I begin my day. It gets the blood flowing around the body and it makes me feel so, so good. I also control my breathing while I'm doing it and it just opens up the ligaments and the joints and everyone, all the muscles just feel great. It's also helped me in my gym as well. I've become so much more flexible and so much more mobile in certain movements like squats or bench press, I can get so much deeper. So it's great to implement a stretching routine first thing as soon as you wake up, before you've had a drink or anything, I do that straight away. And trust me, it makes me feel amazing. I then make my morning concoctions. So basically they're really basic. They can include a Barocca drink because um, you get your vitamins and minerals in and I also make a black coffee but I do usually decaf because I don't want to increase my cortisol levels straight away and if you increase your cortisol levels I get a bit anxious so I have a decaf keeps me really mellow and feeling really, really good. And I top it with oat milk and a bit of sweetener because I just love oat milk. And then I also have a lemon and ginger tea because it's just full of antioxidants and really good for you as well. So I neck those and they're great. I then do something which you don't have to do, but I weigh myself. Um, 
I've always liked to weigh myself. I don't know why, I just do it. It keeps me accountable on what I'm eating and I know if I've had too much, I'm gonna weigh a little more or if I had a bad night's sleep or whatever. It, it doesn't really matter, you don't have to do it, but for me, it's just something I've been doing for the last few years and I enjoy it. So yeah, I know what weight kind of works for me when I'm like leanest or heaviest. It means I'm gonna be a bit chubbier. Now Christmas is coming. <laughs> I then get into my gym kit. I'm not naked here, but I did, well, I had to get naked here. And then um, I pop into my gym kit. I prepared the night before. So I always set it the night before so I don't have to end up looking. And if I see it, then it means I have to go as well. You can wear odd socks if you want. It's up to you. It doesn't really change anything. I then go back into the kitchen and I drink the drinks prepared. Um, I take my coffee onto the balcony and just kind of observe the view think about my thoughts and feelings and how I'm doing and whether I slept well or what happened yesterday and kind of just digest yesterday's day and how I'm going to take everything I learned in that day into this day as well. I think it's a really important habit that I've been doing and it just kind of settled me and keep me grounded for the, for the day ahead. I then come back into the room and I get my notepad out and my journal and I jot down my gratitudes. So I write down three daily gratitudes. It just takes literally less than a minute. The reason why I do this is for me, like, gratitude just helps us see the bright side of things amidst all the challenges. When caught up in like troubling times or despair, we tend to focus our attention on what we, we lack. Like gratitude can really shift that perspective. Think of it like a superpower responsible for strengthening immunity, enhancing optimism and unlocking like that happiness. By taking time to focus on what you're like grateful for in your life, the more gratitude will just grow and the easier it will become as well. So I really recommend you guys writing down three gratitudes. You'll just have this sense of like happiness once you've done it. So I really recommend you guys giving that a go. I then bliss my body around with the Theragun. I love this um, Theragun. You may have seen on my Instagram post and stuff where I've used these before. It just really loosens up my body and gets me ready for the next thing, which is my gym workout. So I work out around five to six times a week at the moment by doing like a push-pull leg split. I also do some running every now and then if I fancy some running for I feel that's really good for endorphins and I also incorporate some yoga as well. More on this to come, trust me. I usually train for about 45 to 60 minutes, not really anymore, I don't feel it really, I need to, um, so it makes me just feel great. And then as soon as I'm done my workout, I head into the pool area in the gym and I meditate. I think meditation has been one of the biggest game changers for me in the last like six months. It can be really hard to get into, so I do recommend starting small. But I use the app Calm, and it's just been incredible. Like I always believe that training your body is great, but training your mind for peace and purpose is just phenomenal. And it can just really set your tone for the day and make you feel like it's a bit calmer and happier. So yeah, I really recommend doing that. I then come home and I do the cold shower therapy. Cold showers I've been doing almost every day for a really long time now, but the problem is I used to start hot then go cold, whereas now I actually get into it when it's ice cold first thing. It's a real test and I can assure you, if you're thinking about any problems, you jump in a cold shower, it will just lower anxiety straight away. The reason this is because you don't think of anything else when you're in a cold shower, but how cold it is and how you're wanting to get out. That is just a great feeling. So then you forget about all world's problems. And I then turn the shower back to hot. And this is where like fat burning takes in, well takes control as well. So the body's now shocked. It's going from hot to cold, hot to cold. And this is when like your body can actually absorb a bit more fat as well. So it's technically a good thing to try. So start with cold, then go to hot and it finishes and you just feel awake. And that's why I also don't need as much caffeine anymore as well. So that's a great feeling too. And then guys, I grab my breakfast, whatever I fancy, whether it be from fresh fitness food, if I fancy cooking up something. And you know what? I barely looked at my phone at this time as well. So I try and avoid mobile phone usage up until I'm right in the gym, maybe between sets. The reason why I don't go on my mobile phone straight away is because you're distracted. The If you pick up your mobile phone straight away first thing in the morning, you're just comparing yourself to others and you're giving negative news and impacted with everything that you don't really want to see. So I avoid using a mobile phone for as long as possible. And yeah, that's it guys. That's my stress-free morning routine. I think you guys should give it a go. And yeah, give it a go and let me know how you feel. If you can take anything out of this, it'll be the three M's. And that is mindfulness, movement, and mindset. Tackle those three things guys and you win the morning and you win the day. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe down below too. But yeah guys, until next time, peace.